everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Like I've said it multiple times in previous videos, I'm super behind in a lot of my like Netflix series and movies. I did already do one of the series. I wanted to go ahead and do one of the movies this time around and I couldn't decide which one to do first. So like many people do, I turned to social media and I did a poll on one of my stories to get, you know, my people's input on what I should do, what would they want to see, you know, because they're my friends, they're my family, they're here to support me. Well, guess what? My people, my people suck. suck. Nobody voted. Well, anyway, so I thought that I would do something fun, and so I ended up uh, writing down all of the uh, movies. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this little bowl, and we're going to shake it up, and we're going to see this Russian roulette movie review who's going to win right here let's see here we're gonna go ahead and get this one right there we're going to open it and see what i'm going to review today and it is rim of the world did that is that there we go i don't know if that's actually focused on there but you saw it here first so let's go ahead and get on with this review Let's see how well this goes because it's been a minute since I've seen this. Rim of the World is a fun, like, adventure, like, dumb movie. I'm not even gonna lie, you know, and the movie knows what it is. Basically, a alien invasion and the fate of the world lies on these four, like, misfit kids. Uh, we have Alex, which is, like, the scared of everything kid. We have Darius, which is possibly the funniest one from the group. He's basically the rich kid. We have Gabriel, um, who is basically, like, the the bad kid um and of course you know when there's a bad kid there's always a reason why he ends up being that he is dyslexic because of his dyslexia is what kind of their point was to give the audience a all oh, okay so we're gonna kind of like excuse you know like your misbehavior you know they had to throw a girl in the group and her name is zing zing and she's coming all the way from you know the other side of the world to come to this particular camp next you know like all the military jets are like flying in the time that they make it back to where their group is supposed to be they're they're left they, they left them you know everybody else was like picked up you know gone to safety or possibly killed we don't really know i don't think they ever really said we do end up seeing these um demi gorgon type aliens they end up finding military people or was it an astronaut i think he came from outer space actually because he was like in this tank uh basically they end up having this key that needs to be taken I don't remember where you guys and it needs to be taken somewhere to be able to stop basically the alien invasion okay it's basically the kids job to get this key to where it needs to go or at least get it to the adults so they can do what they need to do you might be wondering why this adult gave these kids the key well the adult was dying <laughs> You know, these kids are on a journey to try to take this key where it needs to go to or try to find some adults which they do ultimately find the military they gave them the key and then um they're on their way they're like okay we're good we're like yes we're gonna go we're gonna go into safety well the aliens attack them guess what the military does they then give the key back to the kids and there's like you're the only hope kind of think of it like transformers with Shaw LaBeouf in the little cubic box is you're marine now kind of deal like I don't care if you're a kid you're gonna do this so basically that's what it was but they were he was a little bit like nicer than Josh Jamel was to uh Shaw LaBeouf well they have the key they're trying to take off and you know how they know where this place is at I don't know because like there's no cell phone reception there's like nothing um how they're gonna find this place because you know like nowadays especially like kids who rely on like cell phones and GPS for stuff um, how they were going to be able to find which direction to go and be able to find the building that they needed to go to. I mean, I don't know, because honestly, I wouldn't even have known. Like, basically, if you, if you tell me, I got to go north. Guess what? I'm one of those people of, I'm standing this way, this is north. And then now, they're on the journey to get to this building to try to get this key. And of course, there's this big-ass demigorgon looking thing that is chasing them. They also get this scene that really reminds you of jurassic park when they're in the kitchen the plot you know it's ridiculous um the storyline is not the best the casting i mean the kids they were funny uh some of the adults i mean there's really no need to get attached to them of course you do have like a little love interest going on because you know it can be like a little teen uh movie without a little love interest going and like i said there's only one girl in here 
So now if you haven't seen it, it's like which one of the three boys is she going to have the love interest with? Or if it takes a lot for you to laugh, this movie is not for you. You literally have to be one of those that just laughs at everything, which is me. That's like, I mean, why be bitter all the time? You know, just like be happy and like laugh. I'm not even gonna go really much into it. If you haven't seen it, I honestly do recommend for you to see it. I think it's a really funny movie. This movie is not for everybody. Annette, this movie is not for you. If this was something that was in theaters, I wouldn't recommend you to watch it. Um, I don't think it's worth your money to see in a the theater. But, you know, just like on a rainy day or just like a lazy day, you know, you have gone and watched like all your shows. You're like, what to watch next? Give this movie a shot, you know? I mean, you, yeah, you may not like it. But, but um, that's all I have to say about the Rim of the World. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. What did you guys think about my little Russian roulette movie pick? You guys actually knew before I did. Before you guys click on the video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!